What is a mashup? She take my money. Well, I'm in need. I don't really, I've never heard a mashup before. She a gold digger, but she ain't messing with no broke, broke. Now I ain't saying she a gold digger, but she ain't messing with no broke, broke. Get down, girl. A mashup, well, traditionally, what we think of as a mashup, I would say, I would define, we would define it as uh, when you take the vocal of one song and you stick it on top of the cut up instrumental of another song and create a brand new song that preferably is greater than the sum of its parts. When the pimp's in the crib, ma, drop it like it's hot, drop it like it's hot, drop it like it's hot. Why do I like mashups? Because I have this secret love of pop music in my little rocker heart. <laughs> You know, they used to really annoy me because I like music solid. I like to hear that song, that song, how it goes. But it's kind of really cool to see how different like genres of music can come together and create like a totally different vibe. But it's the same group, you know, and it's good. The, the whole idea that people only like necessarily one style oh, yeah. of music is a fallacy. It's outdated, you know? and, and that's just not true. These days, it seems that people truly are into more and more diverse types of music. There's not just they're not just into one thing, and because that was what was already happening. We got into mashups because we were already DJing a mix of this, that, this, that, like you know, rock, hip hop, you know, uh, new, wave, new wave, you electro, know, alternative. You know, we were eclectic. already doing that, and so when we heard it all in one unit, and then one unit, one unit, doing the same thing that we're already doing, you know, because we're already playing so many genres, it made perfect sense to us. It's like collage. And, and you can you know, take bits and pieces of other things and put them together and make your own image. People tried to call, um, you know, mashups a fad when it first started happening. You, you'll see that in a lot of articles and things like that, especially when people first discover them. Um, and it's a fad like hip hop. But they called hip hop a fad too. And if you look at it. Yeah, San Francisco is like the epicenter of the American mashup scene, and um, I, mean, I would like to think that you know we help that along with our club booty. But then you also have someone like Party Ben, who uh, is a had DJ the on show. Live 105, and he had a show called The Six Mix, which featured a lot of mashups. <laughs> I think San Francisco has a lot of scene slummers. You know, people who go to a rock show one night and then they'll, you know, go to house a, music uh, dance night the next the night. next night, and the and next night they'll go see a burlesque performance, and the next night they'll go see an art show. Yeah, you know, it makes you know people. There's you know a lot of uh, you know interesting things that go on in the city, and a lot of people that do dip into different scenes. So again, so it culture itself. culture seems tailor made for tailor -made you know that kind of aesthetic so. where you're gonna get a little bit of everything. Booty is the uh, first all mashup bootleg club in the United States. And uh, we started in San Francisco in 2003. And uh, it started off on a Wednesday night at a small club. You know, maybe, a monthly Wednesday yeah, monthly is how we started, which is really Maybe 75 crazy. people, and now it's grown into a monthly Saturday night at DNA Lounge where we get anywhere to 800 to 1,000 people all getting their groove on to mashups. To 100 bits of 100% mashups. No, yeah. no real songs or full songs are, pl are yeah. played. Everything out. played at Booty is bootlegged and or manipulated to some degree. And we have a mashup rock band, uh, my band, Smash Up Derby. We play every single month. We do mashups live. Um, often covers of other DJs' mashups, or we create our own, which is a nice thing to do when you can't always get that a cappella track. Well, we can just sing it.
Yeah, the reason you know. mashups are not going to go away is because mashups are not really a genre. It's not one single style of music. It's it's, a production. it's ultimately it's a production technique. So the more that you know, more songs come out, people are going to take them, manipulate them, mess with them. It's the same thing as a remix. Re people will never stop making remixes. Why? Because they can. That's going to be the same thing with mashups. Yeah. But this is what we love. This is what our passion's for. And uh, it's fun bringing it. There, we said it. <laughs>